welcome to the podcast for when the curves line up for October 6, 2023. Please see the article that includes diagrams of today's events on the website at whenthecurveslineup.com. Text by Jeffrey L. Hunt. In Chicago, sunrise occurs at 6.53 a.m. Central Daylight Time followed by sunset at 6.24 p.m. At Chicago's latitude, the sun is in the sky for less than 11 hours, 30 minutes today. Daylight continues to shrink 2 to 3 minutes each day. On October 14, an annular solar eclipse, popularly known as a ring of fire eclipse is visible along a path from the American Pacific coast to the Gulf of Mexico. Other regions see a partial eclipse. During this eclipse, the moon appears too small to completely cover the sun's face. In the path of annularity, a small ring of sunlight surrounds the moon. This can harm vision from a prolonged look. The sun can create permanent eye damage. On its own, a solar eclipse does not create eye damaging rays. Do not look directly at the sun anytime. The sun can be projected through binoculars and telescopes. Similar to an eclipse projector made with a pinhole, an optical instrument can project the sun to a screen for a group to watch the eclipse's progress. Aligning the telescope or tripod mounted binocular with the sun takes some practice. Work on this the next sunny day. A telescope projects a single image of the sun on a screen, while a binocular projects two images of the sun to the screen. Never look through the telescope or binocular. The sun's intensity is greatly amplified. Here is today's planet forecast. In the morning sky. Venus and Saturn are nearing their opposition when they are 180 degrees apart in the sky on the 10th. Saturn is challenging to see when Venus rises 3 hours, 45 minutes before the Sun. It appears in the haze near the horizon. The air near the horizon blurs, reddens, and dims celestial objects. This greatly affects Saturn's visibility. Use a binocular to look for the ringed wonder. The nearly half-full moon, last quarter, is high in the southeast an hour before sunrise. It is 3.2 degrees to the upper left of Mipsuda and 10.1 degrees to the upper right of Castor, one of the Gemini twins. Later tonight across the southern region of Africa, the moon occults or eclipses Iota Geminorum that is to the right of Castor and Pollux, the other twin. Bright Jupiter is less than halfway up in the west-southwest at this hour. It retrogrades in front of Aries, 12.8 12.8 degrees to the left of Hamel, the ram's brightest star, and 11.2 degrees to the upper right of Menkar, Cetus Nostril. Jupiter's westward motion carries it between the two stars. Watch it cross an imaginary line between them. In the eastern sky, brilliant Venus is about 30 degrees above the east-southeast horizon, 3.5 degrees to the upper right of Regulus, Leo's brightest star. Venus passes the star in three mornings. Watch the gap between them close each morning. Mercury quickly retreats into bright morning twilight after its best pre-dawn appearance of the year. The planet is bright and low in the sky. It is less than 5 degrees up in the east at 30 minutes before daybreak. A binoculars optical assist is needed to see it, as well as an unobstructed view toward the planet. In the evening sky, Mars is not visible, setting about 30 minutes after the sun. Saturn is in the southeast, nearly 25 degrees above the horizon, during the early evening hours. It retrogrades in front of Aquarius, 7.3 degrees to the left of Deneb Alchdi, the tail of Capricornus. The planet and the star tightly fit into the same binocular field of view. Saturn's retrograde ends November 4th, 6.7 degrees from that star. About four hours after sunset, Saturn is in the south. Tomorrow morning it is in the haze near the west-southwest horizon as Venus rises. Jupiter rises 79 minutes after nightfall. About two hours later, it is nearly 20 degrees up in the east. As the calendar day ends, the Jovian giant is nearly halfway up in the east-southeast. Tomorrow morning it shines from the west-southwest. The moon rises around five hours after sundown, after midnight in western regions of North American time zones. Tomorrow morning during twilight, it is high in the east-southeast, near Pollux.
Thank you for listening. Please read the articles at whenthecurveslineup.com.